Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial. If you check any popular Android application with a navigation drawer, you can see there is a rectangular portion is available at the top of the navigation drawer. This is the header section of the navigation drawer. So here is the application that we already created in the previous video. So this application contains a navigation drawer. When you drag from left side, you can see the navigation drawer. So here, the menus are available there, but there is no header section for this navigation drawer. So here in this episode, first we are going to learn about how to add header section for the navigation drawer. So open up the same Android application. So here, the header section is a separate layout file. So we have to create a separate layout resource file for the header section of the navigation drawer. So open up the resource folder, right click the layout file and create a new layout resource file. And I name it as navigation navigation drawer header and change the root element into relative layout and click OK. Okay, now the new layout is created. Go to the XML file. First, here I'm going to change the layout height into 180 dp. Okay, now we have to apply some background. So here, I already add some drawable resource. So apply some background for the navigation drawer header. Android background. Select a resource from the drawable folder and I select one drawable resource. Okay, now we have some background for the navigation drawer header. So now here I am going to add an image view and two text views. Okay, now here I add an image view that displays some profile picture and two text views for display the name and email address. Okay, so the navigation header layout is now ready. Now we have to add this navigation header into the navigation drawer. So go to the activity main.xml. So if you create the navigation drawer using a navigation view, it is very easy to add the navigation header. You can simply use the app header attribute Hub header layout equal to and is available inside the layout folder and the file name is navigation drawer header okay so now we successfully add some header for the navigation drawer. Now we can test this one. Okay, now run the application. Okay, now the application available on this virtual device. So now I'm going to open up the navigation drawer. So now we have a header for the navigation drawer. Okay. So now we successfully add some header for the navigation drawer. Okay, now here is another important user interface that always associated with the navigation drawer and it is the hamburger icon. So now we are going to learn about how to add a hamburger icon to the navigation drawer. And here is our application that contain a navigation drawer, but there is no hamburger icon associated with this application. Now we are going to add a hamburger icon into this application. 
So the first thing we need to add some ID for the drawer layout. So add an ID for the drawer layout. I name it as drawer layout. Okay. Now we need to add some string resources. So open up the values folder. Open up strings.xml and add some string resources. I copy this one. Okay. Change the name into drawer open and change the value drawer open now need another string resource change the name into drawer close and change the value drawer close okay now close this xml file now go to the main activity dot java so first we have to create some variable for drawer layout so drawer layout uh, i name it as drawer layout so now we need to initialize this variable drawer layout so draw a layout and find it using find the view by id method find the view by id r dot id dot draw a layout and typecast this one into uh, draw a layout okay to display a hamburger icon for a navigation drawer we need an object of action bar drawer toggle class so here we have to create some variable for action bar drawer toggle class. I name it as action bar drawer toggle. Now we need to initialize this variable. So action bar drawer toggle equal to new action bar drawer toggle. First pass the activity context. Now pass the drawer layout variable. Now pass the toolbar variable. Now you need to pass two string resources. First one is r dot string dot drawer open, and the last one is r dot string dot drawer close. Okay, here is a spelling mistake. Okay, no problem. Okay, so now we have to add some set to drawer listener for the drawer layout. So set drawer sorry drawer layout dot set drawer listener and pass the action bar drawer toggle variable action bar drawer toggle okay so now we have to make sure that we synchronize the state of the action bar drawer toggle whenever the layout restored for that we need to override some activity lifecycle method we have to override the on post create method on post create and you have to make sure that you select the on post create with only one argument uh, that is an object of bundle saved instant state okay from this method you have to synchronize the action bar drawer toggle so action bar drawer toggle dot sync state okay now we can test the application run the application okay now the application available on this virtual device and here you can see now a hamburger icon is available on the toolbar so you can easily press the hamburger icon and it will open up the navigation drawer okay also here you can see a symbol animation is associated with the hamburger icon when you drag from left side okay so this is how we attach some hamburger icon to the navigation drawer i hope you understand the concepts please subscribe my channel for getting more android video updates 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.